Hey everybody. Well, I got a place set up here and uh, I got this little stove. I got it on Amazon and uh, I haven't tried it out yet. So I thought since I found this dented up can of gas yesterday, I'd uh, give that a try and uh, gonna make some coffee. And then I'm going to practice my feather sticks. And try out my knife I got yesterday. And I'm going to try out my benchmark knife that I got. I haven't shown this yet because I don't know why I haven't even tried it out yet myself it's got a nice kydex sheath with a clip and the reason I got this is because I wanted to be able to cook it cook it click it on the shoulder strap of my backpack for uh, you know, easy access, you're walking along, you need to cut a rope or a string. Um, I don't know yet about hanging it around my neck. I know I'm going to put some paracord around this. I'm going to put a ranger band on it to put a ferro rod on. And uh, it's got a nice lanyard. My carta handle. I think this is a two-inch blade. It's about right. This baby is sharp. So, I thought I'd play around with that today a little bit and practice my feather sticking. Try out this little stove I got. Okay, got her going. And uh, one of the problems I see here is that it's too bright out, I can't see, but we're going to see how long that takes to boil. It's probably going to take a while because I don't have a lid for this cup. Um, the cup is the Ollie Camp stainless steel cup, holds two cups of water. Um, I have just under that in the cup right now. Does anybody know um, where you can get a, a lid for that cup? One of the things I got, <laughs> this was in, I don't know, if, let me move this out of the way. Hang on a minute. Set that over there. This big thing is one of those oven gloves. I got this for like $2.00 at a thrift store and I thought it would be good for camping or even you know bushcraft stuff out in the woods by your campfire when you're cooking I mean you got it fits good and I mean it's you can put it on either hand that's what's nice about it most of these types of things you get they're set up for a right-handed person and since I'm a southpaw so I mean, you can really grip stuff with that nice. I mean, so I wanted to see how it feels. It's got a little hole here. I don't know. If, yeah, you can see it. Put a piece of paracord on that and hang it, you know, by all your stuff by your campfire so it doesn't get lost. And I looked online, and you can find these on eBay for a couple bucks, too. So, look around, guys, because, you know, I haven't gotten burnt with it. I mean, you can't even feel that heat through this. I think this works out pretty good. And, I mean, you can actually grab something with it. I mean, look at how flexible that is. It's bubbling inside here pretty already. Look at that. Oops.
It's only been three and a half minutes. Okay, while I'm sitting here, I just thought I'd tell you guys the reason Jessie isn't with me today is because she is across the state competing in the um, swim tournament for Special Olympics. She is swimming multiple events today, and her mom just texted me and said she did the 50 meter backstroke already and she took first place so she should be pretty excited when she gets back tonight um i'll give you updates and let you know what else she did and how she did throughout the day well i've been working on my feather sticks with the hatchet that i found and restored and good. Trying not to break them off because I want to try something. There's a challenge going around right now on if you can, uh, you get one stick, one cutting tool, and your ferro rod, and you're supposed to make feather sticks and see if you can light a fire. Now I'm going to try this. I wasn't challenged. I don't know how this is going to work because it's round, but... It's smoking, but it's not burning yet. This is my first time trying this. There it goes. I don't know if you can see the flame on... Yep, there it is. I hope you guys can see that. That's very cool. Look at that baby burn. So the challenge was going around and I just wanted to see if I could do it. Okay, let's see how my little benchmark neck knife does. Oops. So while I'm doing this, practicing this, um, I want to tell you that as soon as Jessie gets back from her trip, we are going to sit down and do our giveaway. Um, we're not quite to 125 subscribers yet, but almost. Boy, I gotta say, I really like this little knife. I mean, it fits great in my hand because, you know, I have a small hand to begin with. Would be nice if there's a little chimping there, but then I have to wonder if that would hurt, you know, hurt your thumb. But, boy, for, you know, small tasks and even whittling and making these feather sticks, I mean... Plus, I mean, look how thick it is. 
it's not like it's going to bend on you or break. I mean, this is a pretty strong knife. And I think this was like $15. I mean, really, for 15 bucks, full tang blade. Um, I don't think it's... It didn't come with any specs, guys, so I... I don't know. I'd have to look it up on their website. I think that's... I'm sure that's stainless steel. Get a full tang, nice heavy-duty blade that does work like this. I mean, look at... So that's that knife. More a knife. Oh, I know what I wanted to ask you guys. I know that this is the new thing, so you can hook one knife to the other. Um, are you guys aware of what other knives this particular one can hook to? Um, I don't know. They all the ones I've seen seem to be round, and that, my understanding, doesn't fit in this. So. If anybody has any idea on what I can, what can go along with this, that would be great. I'm also going to get a ferro rod to put in there. So, okay, that's it. Okay, here's the end of my feather stick practice. I just made that with my new Mora knife. It's my little feather stick angel. I thought it was kind of cute, so thought I would share it with you. She even stands up. Here you go. Well, before I head home, I just thought I'd tell you that uh, Jessie just finished her second event. Um, it was a relay, and they took third place. So she has meddled in both events so far.